Hello everyone, my name is Eli Ganim and welcome to EG Jewels Lapidary. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, transferring patterns uh, into uh, copper or, or silver plate. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because a couple of days ago uh, I was transferring uh, some of the patterns from this plate and there is different ways of doing it. Uh, one is you could do it on a rolling mill, which I do have, and or you could do it on the press, uh, which I tried, but I didn't like it too much. The other way is uh, by hammering uh, the pattern out. Now, what I did is I used a small piece of uh, copper, and when I put it on, uh, I to keep it in place so it doesn't move, I taped it. I use uh, the blue tape and I tipped it on one side. But what happened is I uh, this side was flapping, so I tried to hold it with my hand. So I'm hammering using this hammer, and I'm hammering down, and all of a sudden I hammered my finger. It did hurt a lot, uh, and I yeah I, I did swear with every language I know. Anyway, um, right today is not that bad. So the old black and blue is already being dissipated so it, it's okay. But I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, also what not to do so you don't hurt yourself. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this one here first and what I, what I do, I take the blue tape and just tape it. Now you could decide where you want it or the edge. The design is always the same. So that's not going to really matter too much. But what I did now is you tape it also on the other side. So now I don't have to hold it. All I have to do is just hold it um, on this side, you know, far away from my hand and I keep hammering. So let me go to my vise um, where I have that flat uh, piece and that's where I do my hammering over there. Uh, you know I usually have the uh, log, wooden log, but I, I don't have time to get it out. So let me show you what I'm doing with this one here. Okay so uh, this is my vise and I usually use the back here uh, to hammer, but this has already been damaged, so what I'm doing is I'm using this plate, which is a flat plate, so I can put my uh, pattern right on top of it and then hammer here. So what I'm doing is, and I hope you could see this, or maybe I can zoom a little bit so you could actually see how it's going to transfer. There you go. Okay. Hope you can see that. Yeah, you should. So now, what I did is I was holding it this way and I was hammering, and that's when I hit my finger. So don't do that. Now I'm using a couple of tapes, and that will work. So. Okay, you could see right here. Can you see it? Here you go. So the pattern did come out very good. And uh, usually, when you hammer the um, the copper or the sheet that you're working with, it will actually uh, expand. So I start hammering in the center and just go to the outside, from the center out. And this way I keep it even on everyone. Okay, so basically uh, that was the easy way to do it. And um, the reason I don't do it on the rolling mill, because once you do it on the rolling mill, 
what happened is your plate it will curl with the rolling mill and then you can't use it anywhere else you know, the only way you're going to use it is going to be only on the rolling mills so this way here I have it always flat and then I can go in and use it on everything else now remember that these here that I gotta do all these here uh, they're already been annealed so they are soft in order to do all this so I hope uh, you learned something that you don't hit your finger and hurt yourself but at the same time you can have a good pattern that's coming out by just hammering this thank you for watching and talk to you again